If you're looking for a cute and wholesome puzzle game that costs just over a pound and is well put together, well themed, but doesn't give you too much of a taxing challenge until the very, very end, then Kittens and Yarn may well be a game ripe for you. This came out a couple of years ago, but I only just picked it up recently in a sale, and I'm delighted to say I've had great fun with it over the three to four hours that it's taken for me to complete these levels. Now, I struggle with these type of, like, not jigsaw-y mosaic puzzles, but they're kind of similar, so other people might get through this quicker, but even I was able to complete these puzzles and feel brainy about myself. So this is probably towards the lower end of the difficulty spectrum if we're talking about puzzles. The idea is that you've got these four kittens and they're four balls of yarn and they're all kind of interconnected coloured mess and what you're doing is swapping hexagonal tiles around to rebuild the strings of yarn so that they have a continuous flow around to reaching their natural end point. Now, because you're always swapping two tiles at once, you have to kind of work out what you're putting in the right place and what you're probably moving to a wrong place. And because the four starting points of the kitten's tiles are fixed and set and they're slightly darkened out so that you can kind of go, OK, they're my starters. What you're kind of doing is mixing and matching all of the ways how a piece of yarn ends and where the next hexagonal tile can join up again. Um, which seems quite no nice and natural early on, but when you've got four interconnected to tiles and they're constantly zigzagging over each other and back and forth, particularly in the last 10 levels, it takes a while to do a good trial and error because quite a lot of the tiles mimic almost identically to where it could be placed somewhere else. So it's a lot of process of elimination and logic as you're kind of going around the edge. I found this quite akin to the Glass Mosaic or Glass Masquerade um, titles that are like building mosaics or puzzles. Um, but I found these oddly relaxing and really well put together. Love the aesthetic, love the vibe. The music was quite chill in the background too. And the levels aren't too overly ridiculous. They stay quite nice and compact because it's always a single screen with roughly the same amount of tiles in with the roughly the same amount of complexity. So. Big thumbs up from me, especially for only a quid. Uh, Pinnell Games has like a collection of bundles and I've not played any of their other games yet, but I now intend to because I really enjoyed Kittens and Yarn. So you might see a few other of their budget puzzle titles on this channel in the future. Take care.